Let's create the grid. I've already created a grid.py file and I'm going to import here the pygame module as well. And let's create a class of grid, class grid, and create a constructor, so self init. And the first thing I'm going to create is the grid lines. So self dot grid underscore lines equal to a list and this list will be a list of tuple of tuples. So the first tuple, the second tuple, the third tuple and the last tuple. And each of these tuples will contain two tuples. So tuple and tuple. And the first tuple will have the first horizontal horizontal lines uh, coordinates. So it will the first point will start or the first line will start from 0x and 200y and it will go to 600x and uh, 200y. The second line will go from 0x to 400y and the end will be at 600x and 400y and the third line, which is the first vertical line, will start at 200x and 0y and it will end at 200x and 600y and the last line, which is the second vertical line, will be also a tuple of tuples and it will start at 400x and 0y and it will end at 400x and 600y. So let me add here just some comments. So this is the first horizontal horizontal line first like this okay this is the second second horizontal line this is the first vertical line and this will be the second vertical line. Okay, so now let's draw these lines. So I'm going to create a draw method. Draw. It will take self and also the surface. Surface. And I'm going to use, first I'm going to loop through for line in self that grid lines and I'm going to use the pygame pygame dot draw that draw that line method and the first argument it takes it is the surface the second argument it takes is a tuple of colors so red green and blue. As a third argument it takes the line at index 0, then a line at index 1, and the line thickness I'm going to set it to 2. So now let's import this grid to the main file. So from grid 
import grid and here I'm going to create a grid object so grid equals grid and after I'm filling the surface with black I'm going to draw the grid lines so grid that draw and give it the surface surface so now let's run it and we have a nice visual representation of our grid.